Hey guys, my name's Harry, and today we're back with another EMA featuring... It's Gribbly. Hey. hey! Nice to see everybody. Yeah, this is going to be our first AMA for the, the new year, actually, so it's pretty exciting. We have some really amazing yeah. questions from the community, and uh, really, do you have like any of the announcements you want to make? I do have an announcement. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, just wanted to let everyone know that we are going to have some planned downtime for Rec Room. We are doing a server upgrade. We're kind of upgrading some stuff on the back end. Mm -hmm. It won't immediately change anything that you see in the game, but it's some like really important maintenance that we need to do. Oh, so, okay. so Rec Room will be down for a couple of hours. Um, currently planned for this coming Monday night, uh, late in, fairly late in the evening. We'll, we'll blast this out on Reddit. We'll blast it out on Discord. We'll blast it out in-game. Um, but yeah, just kind of keep that in mind. We're going to have a planned outage pretty soon mm. to do some uh, back-end maintenance, and we'll be back online before you know it. Oh, awesome. So at least keep you guys in mind what's yeah. going to happen on Monday, so uh, just just in case. Yeah. So if you guys so are locked out. out. Don't yeah, freak out. Please don't, don't freak out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So our first question comes from A Few Good Tacos. He asks, it's a little long one. What are the what are recommended plans for improving moderation? As it stands right now, the current moderation tools available are average user are easily manipulated for griefing. Recrum is quickly gaining reputation for being very toxic and chaotic environment that has potential future growth in the game. I think Recrum needs to have honest discussion among the team about how to deal with this. With millions and active users, now is the time for meaningful conversations about this. Okay, so yeah, uh, tacos. Thank you. Great question. Very fair question. Um, obviously something we take really, really seriously. We definitely don't want Rec Room uh, becoming more toxic. Uh, we, don't want it, we don't want that reputation. Um, you know, we want Rec Room to be a fun and welcoming place for people from all walks of life. So we take that super seriously. So I think, you know, you know, A, we are already talking about this as a team. You know, it's not a taboo topic, and I'm really glad you asked the question. Um, so I think there's a, a few things going on. Like one is, you know, we've just seen a really big influx of new players. Mm. And historically, things get a little chaotic when we get a lot of new people in. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of time for our support and moderation uh, staff to adjust to the, to the additional players. I think it takes some new players uh, a little bit of time to learn the ropes and, you know, learn the vibe of the community and kind of settle in. Um, so I think part of it we'll see settle over time. Uh, the other thing is, you know, we are continually investing in our trust and safety team, um, adding people to that team, adding capabilities to our systems. So that, that remains an area of active and important investment for us. Um, and then, yeah, last thing with the block and report thing, something we've been talking about, like, uh, you know, we haven't really made a decision one way or the other. It's a really interesting suggestion, and, and I, I took it to the trust and safety team. They're, they're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. One of the first things that kind of came back was, like, they were like, yeah, we, we, we see that, but, like, with Rec Room being a kind of um, synchronous social environment where we're, like, kind of hanging out together as opposed to typing to each other in a feed, right. um, it's a little more obvious, you know, when you block someone or when you, um, you know, if you just wanted to report someone and not make it obvious in the room, if you also block them, it kind of draws attention to that that uh, interaction. So that's not to say we wouldn't do it. It just means we got to think about it some more and make sure we've thought through the kind of unintended consequences of something like that. But it's a, it's a good and a very fair suggestion, and it's good and very fair feedback. So mm -hmm. appreciate it. And yeah, we're 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 aware that um, that things are a little chaotic. Um, and yeah, we we are expanding the team to match the you know I guess the silver lining of all this is a lot of it is coming from you know the rec room user base is growing day after day, which is great in a lot of ways but definitely can come with some uh, some some chaos so yeah so that's kind of what i was talking about with yeah so we, we did talk the trust and safety team have talked about this um and yeah like we it's true that does happen that way on most other social media mm -hmm. but it's not as obvious on other social media when a report is happening like if we made a report equal to a block like let's say i report harry right now um then he's going to, like, I could do it without him knowing right now. Mm -hmm. um, and that might be what you want, depending on the circumstance. But if it was an automatic block, he would be like, hmm, something's up with Gribbly. What's going on there? What? Um, <laughs> and that may or may not be what you want. So, so like I said, yeah, not a, not a hard yes or no on that one. It's mm -hmm. more like interesting suggestion. we got to process that one. Yeah, thank you so much for the uh, question there. And, yeah, we do understand that moderation is a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, so. we'll, we'll, conti we'll continue to take it seriously. You know, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we want everyone to feel welcome here. And, you know, and, and you know, like, not everyone's going to get along all the time. You know, people have different tolerances for, for chaos. You know, some people really like a chaotic environment. Um, right. You know, so 
it's not, we're never ever gonna, like, with the number of players we have now, we're never gonna get it to be like, everyone's happy with everyone all of the time. But we wanna make sure that everyone's got the tools they need to be comfortable, to have the experience they want. And if we're failing at that, then yeah, we've got to we've got to evolve right. our systems to make sure that people can manage their experience. Exactly. Uh, that lasso, he asks, what is up with the update draw? Maybe a rec room original or a glass material? Ah. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The update drought. Yeah, well, you know, so obviously things tend to slow down a little bit over okay. Christmas, New Year's. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, you know, I'm not, that's not really uh, what I'm going to talk about. So let's talk about glass first. So glass, I'm pleased to say, is coming, I believe, this next coming update. If oh, not this whoa. one, then the next one. Yeah, so we've been working, we've been working on glass. I think I mentioned that a couple yeah. of uh, AMAs ago. Um, we've got it running. It looks great. It's really exciting. Marisa and her creative team have been playing with it. It's super awesome. So yeah, that's literally coming next. Next update should have the glass in it, and we can't wait to see people uh, playing with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marisa will have a video showing how to use it and how it works, all that kind of stuff. And I will say, like, um, we're not planning to just ship the glass and be done with it. The plan mm -hmm. is we want to ship the glass. Uh, and then see how people are using it, and then we can kind of tweak it some more, add some more features, um, kind of adjust it some more. And uh, one thing I kind of want to put out in the universe, this will, this probably won't make much sense to a lot of people, especially if they if they don't do a lot of creation. Um, but, you know, right now a lot of people build kind of glass-like effects uh, using what we call the button hack. Um, okay. Don't worry about the details, yeah. but I just want to kind of put out there, like, yeah. Once the glass has been out there for right. a while and we see that it's satisfying everyone's needs, mm -hmm. uh, we won't be supporting the, the button hack any longer. Okay. So there'll be a process there. We're not going to like just suddenly turn it off and, like, and, and mess everyone up. Um, but just kind of start thinking about that, you know, uh, like moving forward, you won't be able to create glass in that way anymore. Oh, um, yes. So just yeah. putting that out there, putting that out there. But you will have real glass to use instead. Oh, that's amazing news. Yeah, especially like... Rooms yeah. like this being used for glass, I think that's gonna make you know more you know more lifelike and more immersive experience for everyone. And uh, yeah, please yeah stay tuned for that, guys, and leave a like for glass material, guys, and uh, stay tuned for Marisa's video. Hey, subscribe, you guys well, know what to there, do. There was, yeah. there was, uh, there was, there was more to the question. They they, they also asked oh. about an RRR, right? Yeah, so, uh, correct, let's, talk, correct. let's talk about that as well, because because we get that question all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, I know I'm always like saying like, yeah, kind of maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll do this, maybe we'll do that. Yeah. So um, so what I will say is we've made some structural adjustments uh, in the team. Like you know, rec room. Like I said, the 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 community is growing. The team is also growing, um, and so we've been kind of like shuffling things around a little bit. The way we were trying to do RROs last year, we didn't feel like was super successful. That we were like, yeah, it's a long story. But um, but uh, yeah, we've kind of like reshuffled and refocused mm. some some people on that. And so, uh, the very first thing that our experiences team is doing is actually revisiting uh, the the very the very beginning of the app. So we're going to kind of rethink the way new players come into Rec Room, and we're sort of building that that out kind of like an RRO. Now I know that's not what people want when when they say, "Hey, you're going to build an RRO." They don't want to hear, "Hey, we're going to make an intro experience." Right. But point being is the team that's building that is then going to kind of keep moving on to more mm. experiences this year. So we are kind of getting back to building ROs this year. Oh, that's so really exciting. Stay that's tuned, I guess I would say. King <laughs> Fionor asks, aka Pan Knight, he asks, can we get an update on player visibility? Has the attitude towards the feature changed at all? Also, uh, will we ever get an option to turn off the orange dust that spawns and respawn? Okay. All right. So yeah, uh, on player invisibility, no update. Um, I haven't talked to the team who's responsible for that yet. I know they're busy with some other stuff. Um, so I don't have a good answer on that one yet. Um, so I think that the request is, you know, can we make it, uh, you know, circuit controllable or, or, or role available to like actually make players invisible in rooms. There's some kind of moderation concerns with that. Um, still thinking about it. So no update on that one yet. Uh, the other one was on the orange dust, right? The kind of right, spawn effects. Right, right, yes. So, yeah, the kind of, like, concern with the spawn effects is that they can kind of cause some lag and they can be a bit weird. Um, and, yeah, like, anyone who's been playing Rec Room for a long time will know that those uh, those orange cubes have been part of our... I think, I think they were in the very first version of Rec Room we shipped, and I don't think we've updated mm. them ever since. Right. And so uh, our art director, Cloud... Um, he, he's really keen to update those, so there's no plan to like make, him, make them um, available to turn mm. off, but we do have plans to make them much lighter and make them so that they don't lag out the game. Oh, great. Um, okay. And I know we're slow and it takes us forever, but, but yeah, we will, we will fix that up because, yeah, it's sort of super annoying when they lag stuff out. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for the question there, Pant Knight. All right, our next question comes from Lazy Seal uh, Sunken. He asks, will we ever get a 
have more complex tube ma manipulation system. Currently, you can only move parts around would be pretty nice. If we could change a width, numbers yeah. of size, and smoothness. Yeah, yeah. So I think um, I think the answer is yes. I don't want to give you a timeline on when it'll happen, um, but yeah, I think making tubes uh, a little more capable and a little better, and um, and kind of addressing some of the issues with them. Um, is definitely planned. So definitely we've, we've been looking at a whole bunch of ways to upgrade the building experience. We're very focused on circuits uh, for the first kind of few months of this year. So I think you'll see a lot more movements on circuits V2 uh, being the focus. Um, but we, we are also doing other features like glass. Um, there's also another really cool uh, feature called audio effect zones that's coming. Mm, um, yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so so, but yeah, but tubes is definitely on our list of um, of things that we want to improve, and we know that those features of like, hey, you know, adjusting thickness per point, uh, adjusting the the number of sides it has, and also like we really want to kind of play with the way you can uh, apply textures, not just to tubes, but to all of the shapes, and like kind of make them more adjustable. Right. So yeah, you'll definitely see changes, but I can't give you an exact time on when that'll come. All right, okay, our next question comes from. Uh, Madam Madness 77 he asks, is there any chance we could see a trading system be implemented? That way we can get uh, low levels of cosmetics that I don't use and need, so rare skins can be traded. Skeleton cosmetic wanted for the longest time. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So good question. I went and talked to Beboz, who is the expert on all things, uh, you know, trading, gifting, stores, all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. He says no plans for a trading system, but. Uh, there are plans to uh, improve and expand the gifting system. Oh, great. Okay. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure what he means by that, but that's what he said. So, yeah, uh, so yeah, no plans for a trading system, uh, but you can expect some updates to the gifting system. Ooh, very cool. Yeah, check it out that update, guys. That's going to be really awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Tay underscore 957 asks, uh, will there ever be different times in the day of, in games? Uh, like paintball at night, sunset in the morning, same for Rec Royale too, maybe mm -hmm. at rain. Ooh, that's that's pretty dynamic. Well, I say, yeah, it's yeah, that's a kind of fun idea. So, I mean, you know, I think for for the RRO paintball maps, you know, we definitely do have a variety of times of day, mm -hmm. but I guess the, the question is, you know, can you go to Paintball River and, like, play Paintball River at night or something like that? Right, right. Um, we're not really planning that for the RROs. We do plan, you know, we do already have pretty good support for time of day and shifting all of the lighting and stuff in uh, custom rooms. Uh, mm -hmm. Back in just that cafe we, we were just in for the previous room, we were turning it night and day. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I don't think you'll see it on, like, Paintball River. We'll have a night mode. Mm -hmm. Rec Royale is a good question, you know, like, um, the big Rec Royale thing we just did was get it finally to work on Quest 2 and get it to work on iOS. Um... And so, yeah, I'm not really sure what the next update for that looks like, but it's definitely a fun idea to be like, hey, you know, it can turn into nighttime. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I don't know how likely it is we'll do that, but it is a fun idea. Like yeah, idea. that's a really cool idea. Yeah, it, it, I mean, definitely make your own custom rooms, guys, and have that day-night cycle. It's really cool. All right. Yeah, you know what I always say is, like, you yeah. know, we're, we we really working on all of the make pen and all of the systems to be, like, you know, like, we're already getting to the point where, where people are making such cool rooms and, like, yeah. you know, we, we want it to be, like, you know, the best rooms in Rec Room are not the mm -hmm. ones we build. You know, that's the plan anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's really that's really neat idea, though. Cause, yeah, because there's, like, what, millions of rooms now? Like, millions. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. There's many <laughs> there's millions bajillion. now. Like, yeah, now it's with, unbelievable. Now with Xbox players yeah. coming in and everything, making their own rooms, oh, wow, it's going to be... Insane. Yeah. Okay, our next question comes from S34 in 13. He asks, will there ever be a, a feature featuring a photo gallery in the watch? Maybe players can access the past photos from the rec.net and print them elsewhere? Yeah, so that's, that's it. pretty that's, neat. Has yeah. been, obviously, that's something that's come up a few times over you know our AMAs. And so, yes, that one we've been working on. So that we've been actively working on that one. I'm not exactly sure when it'll ship, but that's a that's a legit soon. Like it's not too mm. far away. I think mm -hmm. we got a little bit of back end work to do, um, but I know like uh, in the new watch UI, um, it supports for browsing photos and stuff like that. Right. So yeah, that one's actually coming pretty soon. I'm really excited for that one too because uh, yep. I often want to like go back to old photos and like. Uh, so yeah, so keep an eye out for that one. I would say like. Yeah, within the next few weeks to Ooh. a month, that one's coming. Okay. Yeah. That's something yeah. to look forward to, something guys. Like that. That's pretty neat. All right. You know how reliable my timing predictions are. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, because we... What did I say last time? I had to make the gesture of like... When yeah, I'm yeah, this gesture. This, but yeah, this, but, this, I know, but I know, in all honesty, we've, uh -huh. we've, uh, uh, we've had someone working on that. I think hmm. Forever Summer Sky worked on that one. Oh, um, really? Anyway, so okay. That, that's coming. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been reading the comments and be like, oh, when is this? When is this? When is this? You know, they're just saying, oh, but he said this. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of <laughs> up in the air, guys, sometimes. All right, our next question comes from RR underscore werewolf. He says, will you do anything okay. about a low effort PvP maps, swarming the, the hot pages, and not giving attention to actual good maps that die out in a week? Featuring them won't, won't do anything because they always get replaced with subsequent week, and we don't get any business as a result. The PvP maps are filled with brim and toxicity, and the algorithm always puts it in a hot page, making it worse and giving them more people a break from code conduct. Yeah, okay, so yeah, good question. So, um, you know, I think that probably the best best way to think about it is, you know, we really feel like we've barely even started on our kind of recommendation system and content discovery. The hot list is a very basic algorithm. Um, we don't we don't think it does a great job of necessarily finding, you know, the best stuff. Mm, um, and right. it certainly doesn't really take into account, you know, what's going to be the best stuff for, you know, you particularly. Right. Um, so yeah, so I think it's it's a, it's a good question, um, and I think you know the answer to what are we going to do about it is just we just got to keep investing in making our recommendation systems smarter. Uh-huh. Um, you know, as you just mentioned, Harry, there's many, many, many millions of rooms now, right? And there's many creators, and there's a lot of clubs, and there's like all kinds of things to find and discover. And we honestly think we do a pretty bad job of uh, putting it in front of you. And so uh, we've got people working on that right now. Mm. Um, a lot of it is kind of bound up with updating the watch. So it's got, you know, the, the, the UI that we have right now is very basic and it's very hard to customize. Um, so making kind of better recommendation systems and sortable stuff and stuff that you can filter um, right. kind of needs this, it needs the new UI system. Um, so I think you can expect to see things like the hot list and personalized recommendations and better recommendation systems coming online as the watch gets updated. But but yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, definitely something, definitely something we're planning to improve and work on. Yeah, and also like you know, getting to clubs, guys, because a lot of creators are, um, you know, maybe in your ballpark there. Maybe you guys want to like, you know, join their rooms. Mm-hmm. And we're also featuring a lot of ads too, where we uh, feature other rooms that don't have a lot of screen time. So we're trying to like put it out there for you guys. So it's really yeah, cool. yeah. I mean, so definitely, I would in in the short term, I would definitely direct people's attention to if you go into play yeah. and uh, browse the moods lists. Oh um, man, so if you, moods if are you so just great. Go one over from moods, like that. Those are kind of uh, curated lists of like uh, really yeah. fun featured content that uh, that is a variety of stuff. You know, so it's not just PvP maps or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, be sure to oh, check man. out the moods as well as the hot list. Okay, ah. our next question comes from uh, CB2 Nerd. Yes. Any news regarding vehicles, not just the release, but the date? How will we control the vehicles? And will there be any uh, steering wheel and the makeup pin? How will we be getting this release date? Will it be easy or hard to make the vehicle? CB, uh, CB2 Nerd, okay. Okay, great <laughs> question, CB2 Nerd. So what CB2 Nerd's referring to is like last year we made a video where I was talking yeah. about the prototype vehicles we had and like, um, and yeah, and so that, that work is continuing. There's, you know, it turns out there's a lot of low level stuff we ended up needing to do. So it's taking mm. way longer than I kind of made it seem like it would, but it is coming. Um, and so let me go through those questions. I don't want to give you a release date because I'm going to be wrong. Uh, but right. please know, you know, we're actively working on it. Like I said, circuits is a big focus right now. And a big part of getting the circuit system working is so you can control things like vehicles and planes mm-hmm. and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's definitely coming. I'm not going to give you a date because I'd just be making it up. Uh, in terms of how you control it, that is a great question and something that we're really experimenting with to figure out uh, because it's kind of a really interesting design challenge to come up with you know, really cool controls that give you a lot of variety for what you want to build right. and that also work really well in VR or on a phone or on PC or on the consoles. Um, so really interesting, but I think it is probably something like you'll have uh, in the palette, you'll be able to find controls that you can then, you know, put and integrate into your contraptions, and then you can, like, read the value of those controls into your circuits. Probably something like that. Oh, um, nice. In terms of, will it, will, it, will, it, will it be easy or will it be hard? Mm. Um, let me actually go into that a little bit, because it's kind of an interesting and important philosophical thing that we're doing for circuits that I think it's kind of, uh, people might be interested to hear how we think about it. So the answer is both. It's going to be easy and it's going to be hard, and it really is depending on what you want to do. If you want to put a vehicle in your room and maybe just lightly tweak it, like maybe you want to change the color of it, or maybe you want to like change its top speed or something like that, mm-hmm. that's going to be easy. That'll be you go oh, nice. to the invention store. Uh, or you just go to the default vehicle in the palette and you go, hey, give me that vehicle. Plonk, there it is. You can drive it around. You can save it into your room. You can make a little racing game, whatever you want. Uh, 
If you want to do much deeper customization, like you want to make, make it look really custom or you want custom behaviors or you want to make a vehicle that can jump or that mm. has some special properties, yeah, that's, that's cool. going to be more complicated and re will require more, you know, more actual circuits building. You know, and, and circuits is, we, we make it as easy as possible, but it's not super, super easy. It's basically a kind of programming, right? Um, so yeah, so the, it's kind of both. It depends how deep you want to go on customizing your vehicle. But certainly for anyone who just wants to be like, I just want to make a room and I want to throw in a couple of vehicles and muck around, that's oh, going to be man. super, super easy. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be yeah. awesome. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, yeah, I'm really excited for it. And you know, I, if I had a magic wand and mm -hmm. I could make it go faster for, for you, CV2 nerd, I would totally do it. But yeah, <laughs> please know we're working on it. Yeah. We're really, right. really excited about, about how yes. it's all shaping up. And it's going to be, it's going to be a crazy year for circuits and vehicles and stuff like that. But yeah, it takes, oh. it's, it's all taken forever, but whatever, we'll get there. Yeah. Cause the way that you explain it, I'm like, wow, that's going to be a really amazing for like, you know, uh, experienced players and also people just want to mess around i'm like so it's yeah you know we're like for everybody it, really it's actually in, interesting like before i before i came into the before i came to meet you to do the ama harry mm -hmm. i was mucking around with some circuits oh, yeah? and i was like i was flying i was flying a circuits v2 powered jetpack what uh okay like, yeah, all right flying around okay. built rings, awesome. and it was like you know it was like it was pretty rough it had some bugs but oh. you know but it was made by a player who's been experimenting with the circuit system and so I'm like, all right, yeah, definitely like starting to see the possibilities here. But, you know, a lot of bugs we got to fix and a lot of improvements yeah. we got to make. But, yeah, man, I can't wait to like have like a uh, like a jetpack paintball uh, oh, map that we can man. all play together. That is so <laughs> cool. Guys, somebody make right. that happen, please. That's so cool. Yeah, the idea yeah, of yeah. that. <laughs> or you, you should probably patent an idea. I mean, don't like me. <laughs> but I no. should patent that? Yeah, all right, good. Patent pending, TM. <laughs> yeah, TM, TM. Yeah, that, absolutely. There you go. But no, seriously, that is so. No, cool. someone please make that. That's going to be awesome. No, yeah, honestly, guys, I, we're just like blown away by the creativity from you guys. So yeah, keep on producing, make your dreams happen. There you go. All right, mm -hmm. all right. Next question we got is from um, Just for Kicks. Yes. Hey, are we ever going to get a feature to combine certain hats, like the example baseball cap and headphones? Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. No. No. Okay. All right. Well, that squashes that answer, guys. We're moving on to the next question. Yeah. I mean, you could you could do whatever you want with costumes and stuff like that, but right. no plans to let you wear like two hats. Yeah, because there's like uh, so many combinations of hats now. So Spoon, he asks, "Where is the classic 2020 shirt?" Oh, we get asked this all the time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I I I uh, I, I went and talked to Coach about that. Coach said uh, mm. it's uh, still in the laundry, uh, getting cleaned. <laughs> But yeah, be patient. It's coming. It's did Gribbly just confirm shirts 2020 guys? Okay, all right. Well, it's coming. It's coming, guys. Yes. Of course, we're gonna do a 2020 shirt. Man, all right. What are we? Talking, what are we People are just saying like it's not happening. We're running here. It's not here. happening. But you know what, guys? Stay tuned, guys. Stay be, be a little patient. It is coming, guys. So that's awesome news. So already we're like, this is awesome. I love this. Get a Gribbly. Nice. All right, let's go. Well, I got your back. Oh, watch out, watch out back! I threw oh, my no. gun into the dumpster. <laughs> you threw it, threw it into the dumpster? Oh, Glib is cool as, will the reward system be updated in the future? I've heard that many players have reached and got close to receiving every two or four star clothing items so they can get a, a food or occasional tokens and every once in a while at Bubbly. Yeah, okay, so I, I went and talked to B-Boz about this one and he hasn't given me a good answer yet. He actually didn't get back to me before we shot this, so mm. I'm not 100% sure what he's got planned there, but I'll take that feedback to him. And uh, and I know he's like he's always got plans to like tweak the system and adjust it based on uh, right. you know the feedback we get. So for now, just let me say thanks for the feedback. I'll take that to B-Boz and, uh, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out something to do. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for the question there. Yeah, we, um, we hear that all the time about reward systems, so thank you. I appreciate that. All right, our last question we got going on is for is not my biscuit. Ooh, do you like biscuits? Mm. Mm, not Sounds really. Uh, like a you know what? I'd go. I'd go a nice, cr nice crisp apple is is my Ooh. speed. Any plans for fixing the hair clipping through the hats? Ah, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really? Yeah. Wow. One hundred percent. We are gonna fix that and yes. soon. That's uh, awesome. Cause so yeah, so so legit. Yeah. Stay tuned for that one. We put a ton of work into this. Uh, we've got some really exciting, a really exciting update coming on that. Uh, I'm not sure it's next update. It might be the next one. Um, but yeah, real soon. That one's kind of in the works. It's in the pipeline. And yeah, we got a really, I think, really nice solution for the long-standing yes. hair clipping problem oh that's been with us forever. Thank you. And so uh, yeah. so yeah. 
keep an eye out for that one. It's going to be really fun. This is a, a <laughs> blessing. This is a blessing, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. yeah. yeah well, that's that's going to be real nice. Well, that, was, that wraps up our uh, new year for the AMA, guys. So, um, can I, Gribbly, yeah. can I ask you, like, how's your new year's been? Uh, it's been pretty good so far. It's been pretty good. You know, like, oh, uh, you know, still kind of mostly at home, staying safe. Yes. You know, trying to, trying yeah. to keep out of harm's way, as I'm sure mm -hmm. most people are. But yeah, but yeah, so far so good. Happy, happy for to have 2020 in the rear view mirror, um, and excited for 2021. You know, like we got a lot of cool stuff yeah. planned for Rec Room, and so I'm excited for the community to grow. I'm excited to see all the crazy stuff people build. I'm mm -hmm. excited to ship some ROs this year. I'm excited for all of the kind of cool features we got going on. Yes. we've had a lot of cool people join the team. I'm very excited oh, to see the team growing and the company yeah. growing. Man, it's good times, and so yeah, so so. How about you, Harry? How's your 2021 been oh, so far? Oh, my, my 2021 has been amazing so far. I mean, just been seeing the channel grow and record reaching almost 100,000 subscribers. We're going to get a, a plaque soon from That's YouTube. Cool. Oh, and, we're going to get a plaque. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going to hang it up in the uh, right, okay, studio. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Nice. But like, yes. All right, all right. So, yeah, beautiful work. And, uh, yeah, big shout out to you guys. Yeah, for, so, you get, so everyone's going to smash that subscribe button oh, right, man. so you can get a plaque. Please, guys, subscribe mm -hmm. and leave a like. And, I get, <laughs> and again, I want to say thank you so much to Gribbly. Gribbly, do you have any like final thoughts that you want to share with anyone? or? No, I guess I just want to say happy new year, happy new year to everybody. You know, yeah. so happy 2021. Here's to a really, uh, here's to a really good 2021, and uh, I'll see everyone in rec room. Yeah, cheers, guys, and I just want to say thank you again so much for really joining us for AMA. He's always a, a pleasure, and you know, just having fun with him is always a, you know, a, a blast. So, guys, make sure you guys, to be here. Happy yeah, to be here. definitely, thank you, and uh, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe for everything rec room, and. And also, we post a lot of like blog posts too on the um, the comments down there. So make sure you guys check that out as well. And again, thank you so much for the questions, guys. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next AMA. Bye, everybody. Have a good time. Bye. All right. What is your top favorite apple? You, why? You know, my top favorite is the uh, is the Granny Smith. I like Granny a Smith? top green apple, Harry. Mm -hmm. But Ooh, you know, here in Washington State, uh, something that I hadn't tried before I moved to Seattle mm -hmm. was the Honeycrisp. Have you tried Honey the Honeycrisp? No. What? I never heard, had a Honeycrisp. Oh. Folks, Whoa. the Honeycrisp is a, is an amazing apple. As far as I know, it's a Washington State thing, but I, I'm guessing you can get it Man. everywhere. But that's a delicious apple. I'm mm. gonna, go, I'm gonna definitely after this, I'm gonna go give me some. That sounds delicious. I, Try the Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp and Granny Smith. It's a top two. Granny Re Smith. Is, Granny Smith is the the, the queen of apples. For oh sure. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I I oh yeah. I don't know much about apples, but I definitely will take your word for it for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. People will tell you it's a baking apple, but no, that's a snacking apple. Oh yeah. Is it? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. definitely. Oh yeah. Definitely. If you guys are apple enthusiasts out there, please let us know what's your favorite apple. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten list. <laughs> I like how we, we spent longer on apples than we spent on some of these questions. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm that's the that's the beauty about Rec Room. We just hang out and just have fun, guys. So that's all that matters, really. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome to Apple Talk, everybody. <laughs> Episode one. <laughs> One of the comments be like, "Why are they talking about this? I want to know about the answers." I'm like, "Oh, what? Okay, yeah. all right." No, this is our new podcast, no, Apple Talk. Apple Talk, guys, stay tuned for that. <laughs> Only the ripest Apple news. Ooh, right. you're onto we something. Right? Oh, hang on, I got one you're more. Onto, you're onto we something. get right to the core of the issue. Oh. <laughs> really? Are you sure you're on the? I think you're in the wrong profession here. I think that's actually really good. You should have to I know, I could that. be a professional. I could be a professional fruit <laughs> podcaster. <laughs>